What's good, y'all? Hey, it's your boy, Black Spider-Man, which would be Miles Morales, I guess. Um, that's a nerd reference, so don't expect any of you guys to get it. But, um, what up? Um, dig the new logo. Thank you, Stephen Hughes, also known as the Kilted Artist. I think I'm going to link his Instagram down and below. He might hate me for it, but I'm going to do it anyway because he does really good stuff. And he's a cool dude. He's one of my best friends. Anyways, I thought I might as well do a video. It's been a long day. I've been working on an outro video, which will hopefully be in this video. I hope if I remember to do it. Let me clear my palette. Is everybody doing okay, by the way? I feel like I just jumped right into business. I didn't really say anything. I felt like relaxing a little bit. Anyways, we are doing the Weyerbacher. There's not a name on it. Tiny lion. I guess it's the tiny lion. Look at that. It's like a lion, but it's got tiny on the side. It's a Belgian style imperial stout, 11.8%. Um, as I'll tell you guys, if you've got a drinking problem, get help. AA will be down in the link below. Um, if you don't struggle in that area, my untapped Instagram and Twitter will be there. It's lit there. I'm a little less nice and sweet on those, so. If you want to check that out, please do. Um, links are in the description. Um, Hughes's, I guess I'll put his Instagram there. He's more likely to check that, like his stuff. He's really good at photography, graphic design. Um, he's a missionary. So if you guys want to support him, please do. Um, you can slide in his DMs and do that. But um, anyways, um, long week, been rough. Um. I felt like doing videos just because, you know, reasons. So, personal thing, Weyerbacher is one of my favorites. They always put out good and strong beer. Stuff you can't get anywhere else. So, they're some of my favorites. So, if anybody wants to send me Weyerbacher or Weyerbacher, if you're listening and you want to support me, please send me beer. I'll drink it. I'll review it. Um, I'm drinking out of my Southern Tier Warlock Stout glass which is one of my other favorite beers from southern tier and i legitimately guard this glass with my life so let's pour it um once again beer nerds i'm sorry if i'm messing this up there's no head on this okay so guys i'm gonna do my best to do smell Taste, party setting, would I do it again? It smells a little alcoholy, with a little sweet tinge to it. That did not hit me the way I thought it would. Oh, 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 Lord. It's a lot smoother than I thought. I see why it's a Belgian. There's a weedy feel to it, a little sweet tinge to it, and the alcohol burns toward the end. The ending is it's not bland, but it's not knocking in the face. Um, it tastes good. Would I drink this at a party? Probably not. This is a let's read a book beer. I feel like a lot of the beers I've had have been Let's Read a Book. This is a dessert beer, I feel like. Like, I would drink this after I've had dinner. I wouldn't drink this with, like, a burger and fries. Um, would I drink this in a kegger? Typically, when you're out drinking, hopefully not in too much excess, or you're drinking a lot, I wouldn't suggest beers that are 11.8%. Because I'll be honest, before the video, I went out to dinner with a friend. I had two drinks that weren't strong, but still, I've got alcohol in my system already. So I would not want to end or start my night with this. Would I drink it again? Absolutely. Like I said, Weyerbacher is one of my favorites. So um, hopefully there's another video loading. I did it on my phone of me ranting about traffic. You guys will get to hear my road rage stories. Um, tell me down in the comments or tweet at me if you'd like to hear dating failures of mine. You know, I, um, I'm 27. I'm taking L's. 
I don't know if you guys want to hear that or not, but um, I'll try to make them funny for you. And yeah, this is a good beer. Um, I like stouts, so winter or winter is over. Winter is not coming right now, unfortunately, for my Game of Thrones fans. Especially in the southeast, we didn't really get winter. But um, I like dark beer. It's going to be tough switching back over for summertime because you don't want to drink a heavy beer like this in the summertime. When you're out of the pool, you want something light, like the Citradelic I did a few videos back. I kind of want to make Ultra, like, I'm a beer nerd, but I'm also, but I'm not a snob. Like, I was at a bachelor party, and my man's got us a picture of Bud Light. Did I want to drink it? No, because I hate Bud Light. But my man, his heart was in the right place, so I did it. That being said, pool, beach beer... I don't typically do, like, craft there because it's, like, I'm there to party. I'm there to hang out. I'm not there trying to, like, take in the beer, take in the taste. But this is a good beer to, like, sit around with and talk with your friends about. Also, follow me on Untapped. We can talk about this beer. All right, y'all. I think I'm going to go and... I don't know. I might watch Justice League on Netflix. I'm a real big comic book nerd, and I love the Justice League, so... We might check that out. So, um, love you guys. I'll see y'all later. Hopefully another video coming up soon. We gonna be alright.